name is Dawn Miles, and you're watching Erie Extreme. All right, so we got our old friend Bree on the horn, and today we got us a twofer. Hey, what's up? Hey guys, this challenge comes from Naomi from Erie, Pennsylvania. She challenges you to get Anne to go fishing with you on the show. <laughs> ah, good luck with this one. There's one fail. <laughs> See ya. Next. <laughs> Is that normal? No. Uh, yeah, come on. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. No way. Yes. Look at that. This challenge comes to us from Mike S. from Summit. Mike challenges you to catch a fish, then catch a bigger fish on that fish, and then catch an even bigger fish on that fish. Is that even possible? <laughs> anyway, you have only four hours to complete the challenge should you accept it. Best of luck. All right, <clears throat> let's knock that first one out right now. And... <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Come here, it's a belly wants to say hi. What? Will you go fishing with us today? No. Will you go Saturday? No. <laughs> I called that. There's the challenge failed graphic on the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Knock that one out. Yeah. When it is 80 degrees out, I will go out on that lake. Bye. Well, new record for the quickest fail. One down, one to go. So today, it's just me and Nate. We need to knock it out. It's a nice day. I'd rather be whacking them somewhere instead of trying to catch a minnow. But uh, if anyone knows where the minnows are. At some point, he's just gonna get tired of me uh, asking stupid questions. The Minnow Man. Hello, how you doing, Dave? I got a question. Are you working or are you off? I'm off. I'm getting ready to go out and try to catch some minnows. What? <laughs> are no. you kidding me? No way. Yeah, this is gonna look staged then. Well, you're the Minnow Man, so what would you expect? <laughs> we need to catch a minnow on a rod and reel. Can we do it? Not in your tank, but like somewhere natural. Uh, I kinda doubt it. Really? It's like they all disappeared. All right. All right, later. Later. Disappeared? The minnow thing is not looking good. The whole challenge is gonna be based on that. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. There's two ways to catch a minnow. One is a tiny, 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 tiny little hook, which I gotta go see if I can find. The other is a steel shad, metal bait. If we could find a school of them, you throw this in the school and we could snag them. I have snagged six minnows on one of these baits in the past. That's our emerald shiner snagging record, but probably not gonna happen. Then I'm gonna set the bait caster up with a hook to hook on whatever we catch on the minnow. And the problem with that is the fish has to be tiny. I mean, it's gotta be a little perch. Dude, we can't even keep up little perch. Huh? They gotta be in size limit, no. Size limit? That's not good. Crap. All right, thinking out loud. I don't, I mean, the size limit's like nine or something. So it's gotta be like a bluegill or a little crappy or something. I don't know. So we gotta think about this. Actually, I got a bad feeling about this. Maybe we should just not do it. Like serious? Waste our time. Drop shot. I think that's our best chance, at least if we do a small mouth, but we might wanna do a pike. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a way bigger hook than I normally use. Yeah, here we go, look at this. Microscopic. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Marmuska. Look at that little tiny thing. We have to get two of these ready so we can both minnow fish. I mean, you're not gonna, <laughs> you won't be able to stand just sitting there watching me do it. Two drop shots, two minnow rods. What else am I forgetting? We need to catch the bluegill or whatever on the minnow. I'm gonna need two more spinning rods. Hey Google, what's the size limit on perch? According to Pennsylvania Bulletin, the minimum size limit for yellow perch taken from these waters is 8 inches and the daily creel limit is 20 yellow perch per day. It just stinks because the, the smallmouth will eat a perch. If I had a perch that big, or even a tiny perch will eat a minnow almost half its size. So does the time limit start on the first cast? Yeah. It's going to be a fun one now. <laughs> there ain't no doubt about that. Six rods. All right, here we go. One thing's first. We got to pull a tree down. Almost forgot. Kind of wish I forgot. All right, you think we're good? Go for it. Hope I don't break my truck. What did you do? I watched. All right, do we do more harm than good? All right, so we're heading out to the peninsula. One more quick phone call to see if we can find us some minutes. Yo. 
Hello. Hey, Dan. What's up? I got a question. What? Do you know if the minnows are biting? Yeah, they're on fire. Have you seen any minnows? <laughs> no. Do you have any ideas like where we can even look? I have not seen a minnow at all. All right, well, let me know if you find any minnows. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the bass are biting. I mean, it's primo primavera prime rib time right now. And I'm going to have an accident here if I keep having to drive eight miles an hour in a 25 speed limit. So, we got no helpful info on the minnows, but at least we have plenty of time to think going eight miles an hour. Eight and a 25. Well, one thing that's nice is there's nobody here. Here we are, minnow fishing. Yeah. Woo. I would love to be bass fishing today, but unfortunately, thanks to some stranger named Mike, we're going minnow fishing. We're going minnow fishing. It could be worse. How? Here we go. I, I don't even know where to begin. Like, seriously, I don't even have a clue. Our first chance to see a minnows is up here under the bridge. It's a possibility. You should probably stand up on the front to see if you happen to see minnows. So Nate jumps up on the front, and the first thing we notice is that the water is murky. Looks like pea green soup to me. I can't see anything. That is not good. So we're gonna scoot over to Horseshoe Pond. It's a little more protected, and it's usually full of minnows. Gotta look up under there. Sometimes they'll get underneath these things. Ooh, there's there's bluegills in here. You gotta really look. Why don't you jump back up there on the front? Because you'll be higher and you'll be able to see down better. I'm in the back of Horseshoe Pond. All right, checking in with Kirk real quick to see if he found any. Oh, are you seeing any minnows anywhere back there? No, I'm right by the Coast Guard dock right now and there's none. I can't believe it. We're not gonna be able to find any. Not today. Or have you found any clean water? I mean, yeah, it's clean in here. In the lagoons, it's clean. And there's one. Oh. There's one what? Minnow, I think. Oh yeah, here we go. Nate just saw a minnow. I think there's some right here, maybe. Yeah, this might be a two for a double fail. Hey, Ann, you want to go fishing? No. Right. Hey, Kirk, <laughs> are the minnows biting? <laughs> no. You definitely saw one, though? I saw something. Two of them. They looked bigger, though. Like, they looked shiny. Ooh, shiny. Shiny. This is so dumb. <laughs> Isn't it dumb? Yeah. You can't say that this is the dumbest thing we've ever done, though. Really? What about our time limit? It starts on our first when the bait hits the water. If we don't see any in here, then we gotta adapt big time. They usually just stack around those ladders. I mean, it ain't no thing to just pop up another failed challenge graphic right now and just start bass fishing. We do have to check this houseboat, so while we're checking it, that'd be stupid not to throw a bait in there, right? If I do start catching bass, so I mean, we could abort, because who, who doesn't want to catch bass? I did see minnows here the last time we were here. One more cast and then back to the challenge at hand. See any minners? No. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, man. One more cast and then back to the challenge at hand. I think you already said that. Did I already say that? <laughs> yeah. Who cares? All right, it's decision time. We can't abort already. We gotta just go find a minnow. We have to go find a minnow. <laughs> Not finding any minnows in here is tragic. We should have left all these rods at home. Now we're heading out to the main bay. Cause that's very distracting. <laughs> Not good. Can we film you? Are you really? Yeah, I've been using them for about six years now. Love the thing. Is that a steelhead? That was Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you bet. Cool. At least we got to see a, a real fish caught. Hey, in life, you're dealt the hand that you could, uh, Whatever. Let's just make the best of this. Oh. Who cares? That was just a bass. We need a minnow. Yeah, stupid bass. Trash fish. Easy, Nate. Looking for minnows. <laughs> I look for bait fish a lot. I'm actually a professional bait fish looker. There's no doubt about it. It's actually true. In the tournaments, a lot of times I'll spend more time idling around looking for bait than actually fishing. See those rivets on the wall yeah. on the side scan? So you can see how these rocks go out and then they just stop and turn into sand right there. The boat's going right down the middle, so that's 20 feet away. It shows that wall right there. You'll even be able to see those steps. Entrance to the Coast Guard station right there. 
So Lowrance Active Target is an amazing tool. It's basically your underwater eyes. The fish can't hide. It's almost not even fair. No giant schools of minnows though. It's four o'clock already, so we have to make our first cast within the next 15 minutes to even have the full four hours, because I am definitely not staying out here all night trying to catch a minnow. There is some bait here. Look, that's minnows. Let's just keep going. Those are minnows. We got it. Okay, so there's a prayer. See how they're getting higher? Yeah. Let's keep going back and see if they get where we can see them. See if you can see any down along the wall. No. Huh? I don't see anything. There's a glare right there, though. Of course. Just like that, they're gone. I don't like it. They're gone. <laughs> see ya. I'm not sure if they heard the boat. And they scattered. I'll go over to the other side and be quiet. Maybe that big motor scared them. It's got to be a lot of vibration off the wall. They buggered off. So they scattered. Gone. El Gonzo. There was way too many for them to just leave. They probably just went to the other side. Are you seeing them down there? Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, I'm just gonna dig through them and just pray. Come on, minnows. I find it hard to believe if that's all minnows that I didn't snag one. Drip ripping this thing through there like that. I'm discouraged now. Guess what, the clock started. Yeah, four o'clock. So eight o'clock is our deadline. Now they're up at like 12 feet, 15. <sighs> They're right on the shade line. We need to catch six minnows on all six hooks. <laughs> and then after that, I don't really know what to do. If we can't catch one here, we will never catch one. Wasting time. Stupid. Now I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Dave can't even catch a minnow. Charlie, come here. Watch. Dave's trying to catch a minnow. <laughs> really? So we're going to get run over by a ship now? No How way. serious are we about this? <laughs> We're doomed. You know how many bass we could be catching right now? The problem is, is we can't start it without a minnow. Like, we can't. I mean, there's no birds flying around. That means the bait's down at the bottom. It's just all bad. It's an inch deep. This is great. What a day. So, after getting run over by a ship, um, I'm just gonna break my prop off real quick. Well, we didn't really get hit by a ship. But we could have. <laughs> Abort or continue to try? I don't want to sound like a downer, but I say abort. But, really? But we could be having fun probably. And catching a minnow is kind of stupid. Don't you agree? Yeah, I do. So quitting is actually on the table at this point. But first, we're going to head back into Horseshoe Pond where Nate saw those first two minnows and look around one more time. Where are they? Oh my gosh, don't move, don't move. See them down there? And voila. No. You don't see all the minnows right there? We got minnows. Oh, they're biting it. Oh my gosh, dude. Don't leave, they're leaving. That sucks. They're leaving, they saw us. Bye bye. So they're here, we just gotta figure out how to catch them. They were biting it? Yeah. I see them jumping over right. there, see them? Is that minnows? Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. See the minnows? Uh-huh. Yeah, look, they're biting it. Oh. oh. <laughs> There's one, what? some right in front. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How How can we catch them? I'll tell you, when you see them, they definitely bite it. We just got to figure out how to hook them. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, we look like such dorks. <laughs> Any other suggestions? Put a piece of tube testicles on it. You want a tube testicle? Tube testicles. That's not what they're called. You mean <laughs> tentacles? <laughs> oh boy. Well, at least he's amusing himself, right? Can't even hook it. Everything's too small. Come on, one minnow. You see that? Yeah, I bit the bobber. I'm so anxious to catch a minnow because as soon as we catch it, it's going on a hook. I ain't waiting to catch two. It's almost, it's just too impossible. It's five, so it, technically it's only been an hour and we knew this was gonna be the hardest part of the deal. I can't get it. I wonder if I even need the bobber. I gotta I'll snag my face off. Right there, but I can't cast that direction for some reason. I can't even see where it's landing. <laughs> okay, so I switched to a bear hook and they're biting it. Come on, they're eating it, bite it. But. The problem is I can't cast it very far. I'm getting bites on every cast right now. I just gotta catch one. And it's gonna happen, trust me. Not going to happen. Boy, they're smart though. They know the boat's here. Got one. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. So so see what I mean? We can't we can't catch a fish. You know what I mean? There's no reason to keep that, right? Too big. Your pike won't eat that. Yeah, but how are we gonna catch a what are we gonna catch on a pike? There's nothing we can do with that. We need three steps. It's not gonna work. 
please support our Erie Extreme partners. Marquette Savings Bank. We create. The Avonia Tavern. Fishing Online. Bentley Tree Care. East End Angler. A. Kaplan Company. Driscoll Tax and Accounting. Fisherman's Haven. The Band 814. And our friends at Taste and See Youth for Christ and Pray Erie. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Nate from the Band 814. This is my battle song. Band 814 is accepting bookings for 2024. Festivals, fairs, concerts, youth events, worship nights, banquets, and parties. Email us at theband814 at gmail.com for more info. Check out our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And listen to our album on Spotify or Apple Music. See you at the next show. Fish on. I just saw something. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nope. No, it's a bass. See it? Uh, Dang it. Can't use a bass. Look at that. It's a tiny, tiny little largemouth. <laughs> I'm going to hold him like a man. Can you make him look big? <laughs> yeah. Pretty, huh? Yeah. Release shot? Come on. At least, you know, this, we didn't think this was going to happen. At least it's happening. You know? Yeah. There's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. I think my best bet is like just jerking like that. Ooh. Got one. Okay. Nope. <clears throat> Too big again. Come on. Time's a wasting. Oh, there's a bunch of them right in front of us. Oh. Dude, they're not, they're not leaving. They're biting it. See them? Yeah. Oh. Are you seeing that? I don't know if the Oh, camera... got one. Got one. Nice. Yes. Boom. Okay. That just happened. Minnow in the boat. Yeah. Okay, dude. Let's get serious now. Minnow in the boat. Let's get serious. We got to hook this up. Yeah. Who's the minnow man now? We're going to take this. I can't believe it. We caught one. This is the hard part. Like, if we lose one, you see him? Yeah. And we're going to fire him out there. Now, you need to watch that. You're part of the party now. <laughs> you need to watch that like a hawk. And I need to catch another minnow. Is that just a minnow? I don't know. It looks like it might not be. I don't know. You'll know. Got another one. Get in here. Yes. Okay, Nate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, dude. That's what I'm talking about. It's go time now. Wow. It's crazy how quickly our day just turned around, but we still have a lot of work to do. On to the next phase. All right, so we got two minnows out there. Just keep an eye on those. You got them? Yeah. We have to get a couple more minnows here real quick and get the heck out of here. I don't feel comfortable going with two, but we could. Nothing happening? No. No minnows, no fish. After all that, this better happen. Nate's not having any luck, so I decided to put the other minnow on and... Got one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better than a perch, people. And this is unbelievable. One. Exactly what we need. We gotta catch one more. A golden shine out of left field. My minnow's gone. Oh, my minnow's gone. No, it's not. It's floating right there. See oh, we it? can go get it then. We need that. Unless we just go right now with one. How much time do we have? I don't have my clocks on anymore. It's 5.37. All right, there's the minnow. You gotta grab that. I lost my minnow, so we're down to one now. I'm gonna go back to minnow fishing, so it's totally up to Nate now. And just when I'm thinking about leaving, this happens. Should we just go try to catch a bass? Oh, I got one. Got one. Get him in here. Nice. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah. That's like gold. Golden shiner, baby. <laughs> Literally. Sweet. <laughs> oh, my god. Okay, we got two of them. We should just take our chances, I think. Look at that. Dude, you throw out there again. Try to catch another one. Golden shiner, baby. Number I still two. got my minnow. I know. That's the last thing that I was expecting. <sighs> We have, a, we have a quite a bit of time. Let's just try to catch one more. See all the minnows over there? Yeah. Nate still has his minnow, so we might as well go for another insurance shiner. Oh, I got one. Oh, yeah. He scores again. It's a bass. It's a little bass. No, it <gasps> isn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. OK, we're going now. Look at this. Look at that. Who knew? Golden shiners eat minnows. These are pretty big ones, but not too big for a bass. What do you think? That's bass bait. Let's 
go get a bass. Are we staying in here? No. We're going out to jerkbait land. So this is it. If we lose all our bait, we're just going to call we're it done. done. Yeah. <laughs> it's 5.49, so we have two hours and 10 minutes to make this happen. Well, roughly two hours down, two hours to go. There's our drop shot rods. Hopefully, it's enough time. This is so scary, too. Like, this is not a guarantee, but I'm glad we have two hours to try to make it happen. I got a good feeling about this. I know we're gonna get a bite. That's the problem is, is hooking them. We just, we just gotta get lucky. That's a fact. All right, here we go. Stage three. That's two down, one to go. So I've been on the road for three weeks and when I left, there were still ice chunks floating on the bay. So I'm not 100% sure where the fish are, but I do know where we're gonna try first. I don't wanna get cocky, but this should be the easy part. I have never, ever caught a smallmouth on a golden china. <laughs> I'm gonna hook this the best possible way that I'm not gonna lose it, just like that. And then the other one, we're gonna try to keep alive the best we can. Should I get another one out or? Yeah, get another one out. We're both fishing. I, I'm pretty sure that we should probably hook them all like this just so we don't lose one, because man, it would be tragic. You know that? Is that the smaller one? Yeah. You think we should kill it or not? I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. If you hook them gently through the both lips. So I got my bait in the water, and I think since we have three shiners, our best bet is to keep one alive for a better shot at a bite. I got one. I had a bite. I had a real bite. As opposed to a okay. fake one? Sue me. I get excited. Got one. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We gotta get him in the boat. Get in here, get in here. Yeah! Oh, there it is. Done. I hope I wasn't blocking that. With two hours to go. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> we win. Look at that. All that's left is my shiner head. Dude, he bit it twice. Look at the shiner head, see it? My second cat. Oh, wow. Look at that. We win. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we win. Oh, dude. We win. Beat the challenge. Unbelievable. That, that was my second cast. Didn't take long at all. Nice. All right, so now Nate gets to catch one. Challenge completed. We got two hours to fun fish now, baby. I'm obviously gonna hook this one the same way so you don't lose the bait. Okay. Because they'll obviously now we know they'll bite it. Not worried about the fish being alive or not. Just right up through the middle of his head like that. All you, bud. <laughs> I'm gonna use the other golden shiner just because we have it. That was kind of exciting. Just like, yeah. That was so unbelievable. I can't believe you caught him already. You on the bottom? Yeah. First bass with live bait. So there's the other half of your shiner. It's a headless shiner. A decapitated shiner. Holy cow, we should grab it. <laughs> yeah, we still got two hours left. If one bites it, don't just set the hook. Like, reel down and feel that he's on there and then set the hook. Take your time. I don't think he's gonna let go. At least that one clocked it and then he let go and then he came back and finished it off. No bites yet? No. Mind boggling, isn't it? Yeah. I really want Nate to catch one, so I'm gonna put the shiner down and fire a jerk bait out there. And this one's called a Loco Special, it's my favorite. Carried by Fishing Online, of course. And if there's a bass down there, they can't resist it. So could the Loco be better than live bait? There's one. I guess that answers that. First cast. Yeah. In the boat. Not a giant, but number two. Oh yeah. We did it. We knocked it out. I think we should go eat roast. I second that idea. I didn't get skunked either. I caught a shiner. <laughs> I wouldn't be upset if we left right now. I can't catch a fish. That's a beautiful shiner. Thanks. All right, we're out of here. All right, well, I didn't get anything on the shiner. Turns out we only needed one shiner after all. Yep, well, it turned out to be a pretty cool day after all. I wish I would've caught a bass, but I'm hungry. Let's go eat. This whole day was kind of dumb. <laughs> it kind of was. We spent all afternoon looking for minnows and we spent two hours catching minnows. Caught three minnows. Not everybody can say that was the dumbest thing I ever did 
27 times in one year and mean it every time. That's probably one of the coolest dumb things we've ever done. Hmm. I have to think about that one. I never thought it would actually happen after the way it started. Good day. So it all started with a quick but predictable fail right off the bat. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Not to mention trees falling everywhere, murky water, no minnows to be found, breaking the motor off the back of my boat, and finally getting violently run over by a giant ship. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, it was a great day overall. Another good challenge, another good day. Huge thanks to Mike for the challenge, and we'll see you next week. That was a good one. To keep up with Erie Extreme, like us and subscribe.